welcome to my channel and today I'm going to do a review of the Bugaboo Donkey. Now the Bugaboo Donkey can be bought in three different ways. It can be bought in mono which is for one baby which you get one seat fabric and one bassinet fabric and one seat frame which you swap the fabrics out on and it comes with a little side basket. Then you can get duo which comes with two seats fabrics two frames and one fastnet fabric and then you can get twin which comes with two seat fabrics two bassinet fabrics and two seat frames you can buy extra seats you can buy extra bassinets you can buy extra frames whatever you want to buy you can buy them right now we're in um the double mode with a seat and a bassinet Let's just go over this as a pram and then we'll get into how to turn it into a single. So let's start with the bassinet because I'm here. So you have your hood that comes off your bassinet to your seat so you can change your uh, hoods around. You can get the extendable ones with the zippers in the back. So I have two extendable. these they're really handy when the Sun is out honestly I have used it and I had one extendable and the other one wasn't extendable and it was a really big pain so that's just normal and then this is extended so you can really see that it keeps the Sun right out so I love that about them so remember this canopy goes on the seat and the bassinet the bassinet um, the Pram seats or the bassinet frames on this are a little bit thinner and smaller. However, you can fit this pram right here exactly how it is with two seats or two bassinets on it through a standard doorway. It is a very tight fit, but it definitely fits through. I have tried it multiple times. <laughs> Uh, some people buy the Bugaboo Donkey and then they actually buy the Bugaboo Buffalo accessories. So the seat fabric and the hoods that are bigger to put on the donkey. I can understand why they do it with the seats. It makes it deeper so that the child gets more headroom but it's a lot of money to do that. Remember on a Bugaboo anything white does something. So the belly bar here has two buttons on the inside probably easy to do with your thumbs and that lifts off this can also be used on the seat because it's the same frame uh, the bassinet doesn't really recline although it does have the seat um, recline in here it's not supposed to recline some people do tilt them up because their babies um, have reflux or whatnot but I used to work in a baby store and Bugaboo themselves said don't do that, it's not what it's designed for. It does have a hard uh, board in the bottom and it does have a mattress with a special little um, breathable um, mesh on top of it. But now let's talk about this seat. So like I said the frames are exactly the same but this one has a bassinet fabric on it and this one has a seat fabric on it. The seat on this year model has a five point um, tear a pull away harness, <laughs> not a tear away, five point clip harness which I love so that you don't have to like squirm those arms into a, <laughs> into a harness, you just bring it down and clip it in. And also you can just do, you know, the side ones for when they're older so they don't, um, they're not so restrictive but they can't climb out, so I like that about them. Same hood as the uh, bassinet. I don't know why this one is suddenly leaning over, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the belly bar is exactly the same, so the two uh, buttons to take them off. Some people say that the seats are a little bit small. They are narrower than a Bugaboo Buffalo seat, and I believe a cam seat, but you also have um, a pram that is a double, so you need to take that into consideration. Um, on the top we have what they call a head cap. A lot of people unzip these. To take them off you actually have to cut them when your child gets a little older and their head reaches this then it can be annoying if you take it away then they do have a little bit extra room in the hood. So 
not sure why they did that, but they did. Let's get onto the actual frame. And we do have a few accessories here that I really <laughs> like to add and I think it just makes it look the part. So, general about the frame, we'll um, show you how to take the seats off. Something that I love, love, love about this frame is that you can press the white buttons either side of the seat and then they stay lifted, uh, sorry, they stay pressed down and then you can lift the seat off with one hand. Or two. <laughs> I just think it's a lot easier. Seats can face both ways. And they have a recline at the back with the handle. So three recline positions. Again, here's the white lever at the back. One, two, and three. Hood up. And you also have the extendable hood, which is exactly the same. But I'll show you how much it covers with the seat on. So it's quite decent a lot of sun coverage so you can have an older baby facing forward and then you can have a young newborn baby facing you on the bassinet which is awesome to take the bassinet off it's exactly the same so again two buttons one two I'm just gonna move the cup holder out of the way and lift that off I'm gonna pop this one on the floor this just has a Bugaboo organizer bag on here that I've got put on. I don't know where they're supposed to go, but I feel like this is a really great spot for it. It works really well for me because the bassinet I always have facing me. Whereas the seat, sometimes you face it forward. So I like it on the bassinet. Pop this on the ground. And I can show you a little bit more about the Bugaboo frame. So right now we have one seat on. I know you're thinking, how can you possibly have that <laughs> fit one baby? That looks so weird. There's this huge big gap. Actually, this is the coolest thing ever. This frame actually slides in to meet the requirements for just one baby. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to take this seat off and I'm going to show you how it folds in the duo mode. So one, two, lift off. So fold it down, so I've taken two of the seats off, and all I have to do is, so we want to flick these here, this is our handle bar adjustment, so it goes right up, right down, because we have the cup attached on over here, this is as long as it's going to go. We're going to grab either side, there are two white um, levers down here with black buttons on them, so squeeze the buttons in with our fingers and pull up. Drop the handlebar down, always catch it with your foot or you're going to damage uh, your handlebar covers and slit them. I've actually made some covers for mine, they're not perfect, but they're going to protect the handlebar covers that are under there. So once it's down, we're going to lean forward and lift up the middle bar here. And that's our first fold. Generally I pick it up, hair in my mouth. <laughs> Generally, I pick it up like that and pop it in the car that way. So I lift it up and then to fold it back up, I'm going to drop it, the handlebar, on my feet and then I'm going to try and just put the front wheels down on the ground and the back, sorry, the back wheels on the ground but the front wheels will have to turn and then I'm going to grab the white leathers either side with the black buttons and I'm going to lift it up and then like kick it forward. And then it goes out. You know, just thinking about how to do it, I'm, I don't know how to do it, but when I just do it, I know how to do it. I'm going to show you without thinking about it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. So that is the option one for the fold. Or if you wanted to make your pram smaller, if you had less room, what you can actually do is, remember how I told you everything? Why on a bugaboo does something? So you have one latch here. This is the first latch. The second latch is um, down at the front of the frame. The third latch is the back in between the wheels. And the fourth thing that you need is the button that is in this middle piece here. So what we're going to do is press this button in, 
lift the pram onto the side and it's actually going to slide in. Did you see how much smaller that just got? That took a bunch of room away from here. So now we're going to close them all up. One, two, three. Sometimes they're a little tricky and they don't want to close. Um, what you have to do is press the frame in or pull it depending on if you're um, shrinking it or making it bigger. You just have to like press the frame together and then it will lock in easy. Don't like jam at them otherwise they'll break and you don't want that. Okay, now we're in mono mode. <laughs> so this is where you have one seat and on the other side is a basket. So let's chuck the seat on. You can put the seat, the bassinet, a capsule, whatever you want. Let's go with the seat facing forwards. Oh. Here is our basket, so that just clicks on. And then you have this basket here, as well as your basket underneath, which is awesome. So there's mono mode or single mode. You can have the seat facing you, you can have it forward. Like I said, you can put the bassinet on, you can put a capsule on. The wheels are actually air filled, you can get a foam filled for them, I would love to get a foam filled, but they're actually the same wheels as what's on the Bugaboo Buffalo. We have down the front these two big white buttons and they are going to lock our wheels straight, you heard them click in, that's for rough terrain. You can also lock them forward if you wanted to. I'm not sure which way they suggest, I can't remember, but I normally lock them in ways. Our brake is just at the back here, a normal foot brake. I do miss the handbrake, but it's okay. <laughs> we have a black frame. I've added the sticker decals here, so they come in a set. I just bought them on eBay. <laughs> they come in a set with two of these and two of these, and you put them on either side. Now let's show you guys the capsules. So I actually have a double capsule adapter. So here is the double capsule adapter and in the middle of it, if I get it the right way, it actually says left and right, but where? I know I read it somewhere. This is right. What way do you twist? It has to be this way. Get in. There we go. So this is right. And that's how they twist together. But as you just saw, they can be twisted apart. And you can pop them on just like that, on one. So there's just one. You can have the capsule on this side or on the other side. This is the first capsule I've had. <laughs> so that on there. Now, I'm not a thousand percent sure if Bugaboo have designed it to be like that. It isn't actually clipped in in the middle. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, but I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it like that. They are wobbly as it is. It's just, but I, yeah, I really don't think it would come loose. And like it's, it's on there over there solid, but I'm not sure. Take that off. Open it wide again. One, two, three, and the button. And we're just gonna push it on its side, and then we're gonna pull this half of the frame towards us. I find that much easier. Then with this, I'm gonna pull the frame out, outwards. Here, I'm gonna do the same, pull it outwards so it clicks in. And on the front, pull it outwards again. There's three. And I'm gonna put 
this together. Buttons are on the inside to push outways. Oh. Lock these in. Click it on. So it only clicks on here and here on the outside. To remove it, we just press the buttons in ways. Uh, outwards, actually. <laughs> so here's one. This is for if you have two. So you can have the two bassinets or you can have the two capsules. Oops. Okay, not great to do it from the side. Okay, so you can see the two capsules are on there. And look, I feel like they wobble the same amount. So I don't think it matters if you use one or two. That's their locked on, secure. Oh, that one isn't. No, I pressed the button actually. So, I don't know. I don't think it's a problem just using the one. But please note when you put two of the capsules on, see how they come out past the frame, which means it does not fit through a standard doorway anymore. Only the two seats or the two bassinets or a seat and a bassinet or in mono will fit in the doorway, but with the two capsules on, you can see that it comes out this way either side, meaning that it won't fit anymore. So let's take these off. Take them off, you use the two little grey buttons either side. These are Maxi Cozy Miko capsules. And to take the adapters off either side, we've got a white button here and a white button here. Push them and lift up. And the store, <laughs> you break it in half because it makes it small. Now I didn't show you guys the fold with it in um, mono, so I'll quickly do that. So here it is in mono, so there's just this like a hand gap here, and it's literally the same way to fold it, put the the bar down. I just have to line it up because I have the cover on it. It doesn't, this one has like something stopping it, but this one doesn't. And then look at this. And it actually makes it a lot smaller. You can see rather than it being wider, it makes it smaller. So if you want to do that each time, you're welcome to do that each time you fold it up, but it's totally up to you. I really don't know how I do this, but I always just do it. It's gonna spread. I don't know. <laughs> the coolest thing I haven't even touched on is the basket. This basket stays here the whole time throughout being like squashed down and everything. And it's an awesome size basket. It's got pockets. It's got this little, like a basket area at the front um, that you can put stuff in it and it's got elastic. Just going to put it back to how it was. I think I've said everything about it. Not too heavy. Uh, you also usually get a pump with the pram, which will uh, allow you to pump your wheels up and you can store it in the little basket under there actually and it's like you always have it with you and it's not going to fall out or anything. Um, that's my review, I think it's awesome. Um, I love the harness in it, the five point harness that um, pulls away into five pieces. I love that it can shrink down from single to double and it's not hard to take the seats off. Like other prams, like the Strider, it's a little bit of a hassle to get the second seat out, so I know a lot of people just leave it there and leave it folded down. Whereas this, it's quite easy to just take a seat on and off. But yes, there's a price difference between the two. And if you have really big, tall kids, this is not always the best pram for them. I hope that this review helped you guys. Um, I think I've done everything about it. I hope I haven't missed anything. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you buy a bugaboo donkey. Bye.